finding the owner of an IP address. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. This is a question I get a lot. And it's very simple. How do I figure out who owns an IP address? I'm going to be clear from the beginning. You're not going to like my answer. The bottom line answer is you don't. Law enforcement might, and we'll get to that in a minute. But you, as the average user of an internet connected device without any other resources behind you, cannot find out who is at an IP address. The good news is that they can't find out who is at your IP address, whoever they might be. But the bottom line is the information is simply not available. Now, why do people care? And I tell you, people care passionately at times. And it usually boils down to harassment of some form. They feel that they are being harassed by someone, be it via email, via chat, via some other means. And they've discovered the IP address, what they think is the IP address of the person at the other end. And they desperately, literally, sometimes very, very desperately want to find out who that person is to find out who it is that's harassing them, who it is that is causing them this grief so that they can usually tell them to stop. Again, it's super important that you will not on your own be able to get this information. It's simply not possible. I do want to show you, however, what information you can get. There is some information available based on the IP address. The first one I'm going to go to is something called who is. A-R-I-N, the American Registry for Internet Numbers, is a good place to start. Their website has a search in the upper right hand corner and you can enter in the IP address that you're interested in. You'll get a report and what you will find is generally the ISP that owns the IP address. They're the folks that hand out the IP addresses to the people that use them. But that's about as far as you can go. So, for example, in this example, I've used 72.104.186.113, an IP address that I happen to know is assigned, and it returns, well, Wireless Data Network as the name of the organization, but of course it is a Verizon Wireless IP address. That IP address is owned by the Verizon Wireless Mobile Service and has been assigned to an individual using presumably a mobile device. That's typically as far as you and I can go. With a court order, law enforcement may, and I have to again stress may, be able to find out who happened to be assigned that specific IP address if you can also determine when you're interested in it. As we know, IP addresses can be reassigned, and that's nowhere more true than it is for mobile IP addresses with devices going on and offline all the time. So when and what the IP address plus a court order, meaning you've got a sufficiently important case in the terms of law enforcement, may be able to get you further. Now, there's something also called reverse DNS that can sometimes be kind of helpful, at least interesting. If you do a reverse DNS on something, what that really means is you are mapping an IP address to a name. We normally think of DNS as mapping a name to an IP address. For example, when you visit askleo.com, your browser does a DNS request to find out what the IP address is of askleo.com. If you do the reverse, you say, what's the name of this IP address? You may get askleo.com, or you may get the name of the server that it's on, or you may get more than that. One of the realities of the internet is that, of course, there aren't enough IP addresses to go around. One of the ways that gets solved is with shared hosting. When websites share hosting with other websites, they all live on a single server and they all use the same IP address. So, for example, if we look up using a different service, hackertarget.com slash reverse IP lookup, I look up 69.89.31.214. Again, that's an IP address I know has been assigned to a specific website. 
It's been assigned to a lot of websites. That particular IP address points to a shared hosting server that contains hundreds, if not thousands of different domains that all use the same IP address. The IP address correctly locates the server, which with that many domains is probably a pretty beefy server, but it is still a single IP address referring to any of a thousand different websites, and you don't know which one might have been reaching out. Now, the last thing that people tend to look for is something that we call GeoIP. It's basically geolocating or trying to find out where an IP address actually terminates, where it lives. Unfortunately, that too is notoriously inaccurate and typically limited only to the location of the ISP that hands out the IP address. So, for example, if we use that Verizon wireless IP address, the report that I've got in front of me says that it's in Chatteroy, Washington. I don't even know where that is. And it's certainly nowhere near that IP address is actually in use. If you look up the geo IP address on my home IP address, it's off by like five or six miles. It's a completely different city that gets reported. So geo IP can get you at least the country often the region and sometimes the city, but rarely, rarely does it even get close to the actual location of the computer that's using that specific IP address at the moment. Like I've said before, this probably isn't what you wanted. Yeah, all that information that I just talked about is interesting, but it's not precise enough to solve the problem that most people come here asking. You can't get there from here. If you've got a real problem with someone that seems to be communicating with you using a specific IP address that you can document, including the time, your only recourse is to either complain to that person's ISP, which you now have the resources to find out, or engage law enforcement. If it's important enough to engage law enforcement and they have the resources to do so, then they have the ability to ask for the information that you really want, but can't get yourself. I hope that's helpful. I hope that clarifies. I hope that prevents you from wasting a lot of time trying to beat your head against all these different IP location services that really can't turn you much. For updates, for related links, for comments and more, visit askleo.com slash 2132. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com.